Hi, today I'm going to show you another scrap yarn project. This is going to be for making these super cute um, macrame rainbow keychains. Um, the next slide here is going to show all the materials that you need. It is quite a bit, so I'm not going to take the time to go through every single one, but I have a photograph that will show you all those supplies. So take a minute to look at your supplies and gather those that you might need. So to start for making this, I grabbed some of the craft cord and I'm going to measure out um, the sections that I am going to need for um, my rainbows here. For the ones I have been making, I use a 7 inch, a 6.5 inch, and a 6 inch piece um, of cord. So there's my 7 inch. Here's my six and a half inch. And then here is the six inch cord. Now I just realized there were two things that were not pictured in my materials that you need, and that was tape as well as some sewing needles. For this, I am going to use painter's tape because it is easy to remove and doesn't leave that sticky residue. And so the next step is going to be to tape the ends on our ropes and that's to make sure that we leave enough space um, for the clouds or this end part on our rainbows so you're just going to tape the end of each one like such i'm going to do that and then i'll show you all of them in the perfect so as you can see i have taped all the ends on mine now this first one is going to be the outer one, your biggest one, and this one we're going to do a little bit different than these other two because it's going to help it to keep its shape. So for this, I'm going to take some floral wire. All I had was green at my house, but you might have silver or white or another color and that is fine. In the end, you are not going to see it um, because it's all going to be covered. So I just kind of loop one of the ends around and secure that just so you don't have that sharp pointy piece and I want to measure so that it goes in between these tape marks if you have some excess you are more than welcome to cut off this extra pieces here Let's see if these are sharp enough yep Okay, so like I said, it just needs to be able to fit in between the, those two pieces of tape. And that wire is going to help us give it its shape. And so then you're gonna find whatever color it is that you're going to want for the outside piece of your rainbow. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna tie my scrap yarn. I'm gonna put the wire down for this part here. And I'm gonna tie it right here at the end. I'm going to tie it one more time just so it is nice and secure. Like such. And now this is where I'm going to start wrapping my yarn around. So I'm going to hold this tail and I'm going to just wrap around that piece as well. As well as my um, piece of wire. So I'm going to just start wrapping. And I'm gonna try and keep my yarn right next to each other as I go. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit so that you're not watching me just wrap all this yarn. Okay, when you get to the end, you're gonna go back over one more time just so we can make sure all these little pieces of white and the wire are fully covered. Again, trying to stack that yarn right next to each other to ensure everything is covered. When you get to the end, you're going to cut your yarn, leaving a little bit of the tail, and you're going to wrap it around 
and put your end through. And this is going to kind of knot it for us here at the end. And pull it up tight. And I'm gonna do that one more time. So I'm just wrapping around my finger and then putting that tail through that extra bit there. I'm going to again, pull it up extra tight, okay? Once you have that, we still have this tail here and that is where I am going to grab a sewing needle. needle. Oops, that one is a little too big. I need a smaller one. And we're just gonna bury this end here into the remaining part. So I'm just gonna feed it through. Try that again. Feed it through part way. Oh. And then you can go ahead and pull it through just like such. And then once you have that through, you can go ahead and you can cut this off. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do the same thing with my other two here, only they are not going to have the wire. Only our outside one is going to have that piece of wire. So I'm going to go ahead and do these and then I'll come back on. Perfect. So as you can see, I have now finished all three of mine and you can start to see that rainbow is getting formed. Um, before we can start adhering these together, we need to first attach our keychain part. Um, I wanted to add a little bit of extra strength when I did mine. So I am adding some beading wire to it. Um, this is something I had from a previous project that I had used. It's just a stainless steel, very pliable, very movable wire. You do not have to use this. Again, if I didn't have this on hand, I would not be using it. But since I did have it on hand, I am going to use this to give a little bit of strength to um, that part of my project because it is going to take a lot of the force of this spinning and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some scrap yarn in that outer color and I'm going to line it up with my wire that I have here as well. I'm going to kind of fold them in half and I'm going to put that loop through the end on my swivel hook and then I'm just going to fold the ends through to the middle. And then I'm going to pull it up nice and tight. And as you can see here now, that is attached onto it. You can see the wires a little bit, but it gives it that extra strength that I wanted. Now, you do not have to add beads. You could just attach it like such. However, I wanted to add some wooden beads onto mine. Cut these so they line up. And then I'm going to grab a thicker sewing needle, uh, more of a darning needle that you would use for um, knitting. And I'm going to put all four of my ends through that so that I can feed my beads on. Now my beads have a pretty wide eye that my knitting needle should go through. My tail's here a little long, let's see if I can get them out. Okay, so there I have one of my beads on and now I'm gonna use my other one. These are really cool, kind of like hexagon, octagon-like ones. I have to pull a little bit. Okay, so once I have those on, I have my beads, and now I am ready to attach it to my rainbow. So to attach it, I'm going to separate out my beading wire or my yarn. Again, if you don't have the beading wire, you might just have the yarn. And I'm gonna put that at the top middle of my rainbow, and I'm going to tie a knot. Before you tie it super tight, it's always good just to check and make sure that it is really up in the top of that rainbow. And you can put your other ones inside there and make sure that you are happy with its placement. Once you are happy, I would knot it one more time just for some extra strength. If you notice, I'm trying to get on that underside of my rainbow. That way this knot will be hidden. Pull it up nice and tight. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with my ends here. One at a time, I am going to feed them down into my rainbow. I'm gonna use my smaller needle for this. 
So I'm going down the inside here. I'm going to insert it right by where I have a tied my knot. And I'm going to just poke it through, trying to get it on that underside there. And this is why you also have some pliers. If it doesn't go through, you can use your pliers to kind of pull that on through. And I'm going to do the same thing with my beading wire. Again, if you don't have beading wire, that is A-OK. -okay. You can always just use um, another piece of yarn if you choose um, to give it some extra strength. I'm going to repeat that same process here. Oops, grabbed the wrong thing. Pull it through with my pliers. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then I will come back but you're just going to clip off those pieces and then I'll be back okay so you can see now that my hanger is securely attached to the outside loop and now it is time for me to attach all of these colorful rainbow bands to each other so in order to do that, first you're just going to kind of line them up, make sure you get them where you want, and then you're going to take some spare thread. So I'm using white here today. In the end, you're not going to see a whole lot of this thread. I'm going to show you how you can do it so you don't see it. And I am going to feed it through on that smaller needle that I have. I'm going to pull my two ends down to the bottom. And at the end, I'm going to tie a knot. You can tie a knot however you choose. You could just, I like to do like a fisherman's knot and wrap it around my finger and then kind of curl it and then pull it tight. Those are the knots I use in fishing. But you can knot it however you choose at the ends there. And this you are definitely going to need your pliers for because what we're going to do is we're going to start here on the inside and we're going to go all the way through to this side and then we're going to keep coming back and forth and back and forth through it. So you do kind of have to keep your pieces together the best you can. And I come up through the bottom here on those first few pieces of yarn. And I'm going to pull it tight until my knot finds that stopping point. Okay. When you first get started, it's a little tricky to hold on to all of this. But you can see here where my thread is coming out and I'm going to try and insert this as close as I can to where it is coming out. And then what I am going to do, I found it as best to just kind of push it down onto my table until I can see that it has gone all the way through all those layers. Now I'm not super keen with this part right here because I'm going to be able to see my thread there. So I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to try and insert a little more into the middle of that teal one that I have. And there you go. Now you can see that I can't see my needle really on either side. And now I can take my pliers and I'm going to pull. Trying not to get that thread all tangled up on itself. Probably have a little long of the thread. And when you pull it tight, you shouldn't really be able to see your thread there because you're going to insert it right next to where the thread is coming out. So again, I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. Right here is where my thread is coming out. So I'm going to insert right next to it. And I'm going to push it through all of my layers. Again, pull it through with those pliers that you have. And then you can just pull that thread up tight. Okay. When you pull it up tight, you'll see you can't see the thread on either side. I'll show you one more time. And then I'm going to take a step back to finish the rest, not on camera. So my thread is coming out right here. I'm going to put it right next to it as best I can. There we go. And again, I'm just going to pull it through with those pliers. Pulling it up nice and tight and you cannot see it. So I am going to continue to go around 
just like this as I go around my rainbow. And then when I get to the other end, I will come back on to show you how you can finish this. Okay, I am back. So I have gone all the way around. You'll notice you cannot see um, that white thread in there because I've inserted the needle right by where it comes out. And I am now all the way on the other side. So now what I need to do is I need to knot this thread. So what I'm going to do is something similar to what we did when we knotted the yarn. I'm gonna pull that tail through onto some of the yarn that I already have. And then I'm gonna put my needle through the loop that is made. And that's gonna give it a little knot. You can kind of see it there. So my camera will focus a little bit, there you go. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do this about three times. doing it right there at the end. You're not really going to see this once we undo the tape. So I've done it three times and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take this thread through some of the layers to kind of hold it in place. Pull it through and then I can cut off that extra. So now our rainbow is done and now we get to take off the bottom or take off all this tape here. You don't need to seal it on super good when you first put it on because then that makes getting it off a little bit easier here. Perfect. So now we just need to kind of twist these the wrong way and kind of flip them up just a little bit to kind of give that fluffy ends that we're looking for. Just kind of twist around in your hand to get it kind of fluffy. And there you have your rainbow. If you would like to go through, like you can see here that this one is a little bit longer. And kind of lay it out and you can always go through and trim off some of those ends to make them a little even for you and there you go you have an adorable cute rainbow keychain that you can enjoy on your purse or on your bag or anything along those lines